Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. All right, well, we are heading into Friday as it's going to be a lower rain chance. We're not going to have as many storms around as we had uh, during the day today. We had a lot in the mountains. The upstate missed out on a whole lot of action, but it's going to stay dry even into this weekend for the most part. Uh, there's still going to be a chance for a quick pop up shower, but most areas stay dry. But I can't say the same about next week. There's a chance for some tropical rain really all over the southeast from Ida, and that is going to be something to watch. I'll show you the latest track in just a second. Fox Radio. Our 3D though is clear. Just a little bit of ground clutter. This was little green dots on the radar. No actual rain is falling. Temperature of around 70 degrees tonight, staying with a few clouds, but no rain coming. And the mountains will be down to the mid 60s. Showers early, and then we'll be seeing a, a clearing later on tonight. In your lake cast, if you're heading to the lake, perhaps tomorrow around lunchtime, mid 80s. It's a great place to be tomorrow, especially if you have the chance to jump in. We're flying over Lake Hartwell. We'll be dealing with nine. 90 degrees may have a stray sprinkle. You can kind of see that on our computer model there, but wouldn't last long. And then we'll head into your evening with temperatures in the mid 80s. So 90 degrees for your high temperature in the upstate, 87 in the mountains, with just a stray shower possible. Here's a look at future cast as it's going to remain pretty quiet overnight tonight into the early part of tomorrow. So just a few clouds to deal with early. It kind of makes it feel better in the morning when we can have some clouds, doesn't it? And then into the afternoon, a couple of showers in the mountains. Upstate, though, stays generally dry. Now let's talk tropics. As we go into this weekend, no worries about anything related to the tropics and our weather, but it's next week when this system could impact the southeast and maybe bring us some rain depending on the track. A tropical storm Ida winds at 40 miles an hour. Timetable takes it into Louisiana and the models are in pretty good agreement about that uh, at this point. Just where in Louisiana is the big question. Cat 2 hurricane, but then Monday into Tuesday, it takes a little turn and moves through the southeast and could end up bringing us some rain by late Tuesday into Wednesday if it stays on this track. Now the computer models, you can see the spaghetti models all over the place, but generally converge somewhere in Louisiana, but then eventually hook it off toward the east. That's going to be the trend to watch. Uh, the farther it goes south, the better chance that we're going to see some heavier downpours. Uh, if it goes really far south, that could actually pull a lot of the heavy rain away from us. There's a lot of different options that can happen. And as we get closer, we'll be uh, letting you know kind of what those trends are leaning toward. But at this point, I'm only going with about a 40% chance of rain on Tuesday as well as Wednesday, leading up to that mostly dry weather. So some good time for the mountains to dry out just in case we end up with some heavier rain Tuesday into Wednesday. Now it's time for your riding forecast. It's sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. If you're going to be on the roads this weekend, well, you don't have to worry about a lot of wet roads. It's nice. Just a slight chance of rain on Saturday highs in the low 90s. In the mountains, expect some pretty decent weather. Just hot. Temperatures will be slightly above normal for this time of year.